Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Today's episode is going to be the finale for World 4. Right, Cove? If that's what it's called. And so I figured, you know what? Instead of ending the episode like this, we'll go ahead and start the episode with some toys. I feel like that's a little bit better. And I didn't do 10 last time, so I'm gonna do 20 this time. Okay. 0 for 2. 0 for 3. 0 for 4. 5. 6. 7. 8. 9. 10. 11. 12. 13. 14. 15. 16. 17. 18. 19. Okay, so we got... <laughs> We uh, received 0%, so that's very good. Very, very good. So today on tap, we have, of course, the K level. And then we will be fighting the boss. So today we have 4K spinning spines. I went ahead and bought myself more Dixies. I don't know if I'll need them, but it never hurts. As per usual, we're going to have five puzzle pieces, no Kong letters, just a good old challenge. And hopefully, unlike the last episode, we'll have some success today. So, fingers crossed. Yes, and unfortunately the game, once again, does not provide you with a free Kong Panion. Some of them do, but this one, it does not. So... Spinning spines, here we go. Let's give it our best shot. Oops. Let's keep our eyes peeled. These puzzle pieces. From what I remember, this one is a little easier than some of the others. Whoop. Say that and I don't... Oh, okay. Alright, great. Great start. So I only have five opportunities with my current batch of Dixies, so... Probably need to step it up a bit. Don't have an unlimited... I mean, I, I, I can have as many opportunities as I do have banana coins, which... Even after buying all of those toys, spending my well... Oh. Probably need to buckle down a little bit here. Getting a little reckless. Ooh, okay. We can do it. Guys, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not panicking. Hopefully you're not panicking. Spinning spines. Totally manageable. Just need to be a little bit more self-aware of our of our space and time. Okay. A little tricky. So here's our first new enemy. I don't know what his name is, but he's got a big old mace. And I don't like him. And he was hiding in the first puzzle piece, so there you go. Grab that one. Pretty easy. This is gonna be horrible. <laughs> It's all about time blazed. Okay, so <laughs> first things first, we have this weird bee enemy. Can you believe it? All right. Well, there's no more. Well, there's the the Dixie bailout that I was not actually intending. I thought that would only happen. I wish that it would let you choose instead of just being oh, instead of just being kind of an automatic thing. I don't like the way this is going. Okay. Okay. My hand-eye coordination is suffering from trying to talk and do this at the same time. I don't know when this is good. Okay. Oh, we got all of them. Pretty epic. All right, so here's where things start to get a little hot. You might be a little toasty under the collar here. Ooh. You gotta kind of get your uh, get yourself grooving here. Platforms will start to drop down when you land on them. You 
got the owls. Okay. Oof. That did not blast me as I as high as I thought it was going to. All right. Ah, uh, yikes. Okay. Well, hey, think of it this way, guys. We've got muscle memory. Ooh. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, I feel like I can do this without Dixie, but we'll give it a shot here. If this seems to be insurmountable, then I'll go back and accept the handicap. But for now, we'll just DK it. No deluxe edition, just the OG. All right, there we go. I actually do want to start collecting banana coins because I'm burning through my reserves here. Oops. <laughs> Oh, well, in case you're wondering, it is going to be one of those days. You betcha. Wouldn't expect an episode of D-Mike Plays if you didn't... Prepare yourself for this. Sorry. Prepare yourself for this! I think part of it is... that I just need to shut my mouth. Before I even start, say nothing... I don't give any sort of feedback or thoughts on how I think it's going to go. Just let it be. Let it be. That's my problem, is the game can detect hubris. Ooh, that was a little BS. I feel like I avoided that. Oops. That was not good. I did not plan for that at all. I just kind of was winging it there. Oh, can you believe it? Okay, well. My palms are starting to get a little sweaty. And for dinner, I did have spaghetti, so. The pressure's on. I'm trying to focus here. The only downside of platformers is they're very really fun and challenging. The right level of challenging if they're made well. This one in particular is one of the best. So it's not the level design that gets me down. Most of the time it's me that gets me down. So. And then trying to split brain commentary and playing is a little challenging. But you know what? If we want to be the best. We gotta beat the best. Oh, this is bad. I gotta really stop doing that. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I think I actually do have... I have a cranky, but that's not super useful. Let's go ahead and... For our sake. Collectively. Let's... Let's go grab a Dixie. A nice, refreshing Dixie cup. Okay, that was a little brutal. So, five more Dixies in the bank. Thankfully, they're still pretty affordable, even in this economy. So don't worry about it. If you need some help, then you need some help. That's just how it is. And before you go into the level, don't forget, you gotta tag them. She's excited to be here, times five. So we'll make it happen. Hopefully, in five tries. Or less than five tries, but with multiple failures of losing Dixie. So we'll see how it goes. That's the only downside of the Kong Panion is I think that it makes me a little bit less careful. I'm willing to be more risky, implore some risky business, and that sometimes is my downfall. So. I gotta tighten it up. Oof. What's nice is I wouldn't be able to do something like that without Dixie. So having the extra time and space is always useful. All right. Now I think we have to collect everything again because I did back out of the level. So I believe everything is reset. It is. All right, so let's fire. Oh. 
Come on, game. Throw me a bone. Oops. Yikes, okay. Nope. Nope, nope. Alright, well, there's one. Roll jump to that. Oh, my God. It's only downside. <laughs> I, I've, I've used the phrase, it's the only downside for like seven or eight different things so far. The only downside, the only downside. There are many downsides. The only downsides, plural, is everything, so. Whew. Okay. It's fine. We're moving and grooving. We know what to do. We do have a limited amount of gained muscle memory, so at the very least... Oh, boy. See, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying, viewers. It is, uh... It is of the utmost importance that you... Oh, that's not... That is not all the puzzle pieces. I'm missing one somewhere. Well, then we're back at it again. We the present we don't deserve. We still have work to do. But we do have four of the six wedges to open the whatever. You get all six. There is a bonus world that you can go to, which is pretty fun. So mysterious. It's so mysterious. I don't even know where that final puzzle piece is, but I hope I can find it for y'all. That's my goal. Because we're pretty much a completionist, so. It's gotta be around here somewhere. We will find it, and it will be our first try. So. That is of the utmost importance. Okay. This is one of those things where, like, I think I, I know where it is and I feel like I've got it. And then I just forget to go for it. Oof. I like being able to kind of cancel jump there. Where you can do, like, a little bit of a... It's like a half jump, almost. Part of this level is designed around kind of rushing you a little bit. Oh, he's got a little puffer fish on the... Oh, that's what those are. Ain't that adorable? And for the first time, nope. <laughs> I was gonna compliment myself on avoiding that, but then I just whiffed on the part right after it. Okay, great. Doing awesome. Okay. So I know that it's at least after here. Let's keep our eyes peeled. All right. Anything over here? Yes, there it is. See, this is what I get for trying to go fast, like Sanic. What's nice though is that the game doesn't really punish you. Oops. It doesn't really punish you for the future parts of the level that sink into it. It's individually punishing here, but it's not a continuous rush, which I think is nice. Okay. That basically just does it. I could have done that in one try, but. Oops, sorry Dixie, you don't get to have any fun. Bye, no present for you, just talk to Kong. How about that? Nice. Wasn't that amazing? First try, pretty great. It's always those little sneaky ones in the corners that trip me up. Okay. So now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the boss of level of world four, the Fugu face-off. Oh yeah. So here you go. Your Kong Panion of choice in this one doesn't really matter a ton. I would say taking Dixie with you is probably best if you want to play a little defense for this boss, but Cranky is useful as well if you're interested in being offensive. And I love being a little offensive, so why not? But today, Dixie will reign supreme. Oh, a little lost fish, perhaps? 
this is one of my favorite cutscenes in the entire game. Oh no. Oh no. It's great. As a big boy. Okay, so welcome to the Fugu face-off, everybody. <laughs> I also love them getting ready for the for the fight itself. So it's nice using Dixie in this one. You can use her hair propeller to get yourself away from Mr. Fugu himself. You're gonna wanna swim into his exposed side. That little spikeless area on his bottom. Oops. And he's gonna have friends. You can blast into him. Very good. I would like to have that, please. Very good. And when he's exposed, you can hit him again. I must have ran into him and gone hard at the same time. It's very strange. And as the bosses do in this game, he will slowly change color, darken up a little bit once he's getting closer and closer to defeat. Oop. He'll spit out urchins and eventually some friends. Oops. Make sure to be grabbing the air refills when you can so that way you don't drown underwater. Like, I ne I've never done that. So, oh, okay. So when you do hit him, it gives you an opportunity to get a free shot in like that and you get a heart. Nice. So we're doing pretty well so far. This isn't... This is one of the easier bosses. It's kind of funny that the game starts you off in World 2 with the Owl Boss, whatever his name is. That's a pretty tough one. And... It's early in the game. You're expected to... Oh boy. He's taking up most of the screen here. Swim. And whatever little screen real estate you have. Oh. Oh no. Oh, whew. that was close. He's a big boy. This makes me think of the the DVD menu bouncing around thing that used to be on old DVD players. That's a blast in the past. Anybody remember those? What's a DVD? Okay, so we should be able to get a. Okay, why not? Great. Probably should have aimed that at him instead of away from him. But now that he is... Okay. Hopefully he'll expose himself. Not in public. That's illegal. Oh, I just missed. Ooh, and we're getting low on the airs. Ooh. Yeah, this one's a little tricky. Not the worst compared to some of the other bosses, but... His hit cycles... Aren't quite as predictable as the fight goes on. It does mix it up. That's good, though. Makes it fun. Swim away. Now, we don't have Dixie to help us out, unfortunately, but we'll be fine. Swim through the urchins. Drag through the ditches. Ooh. This is... Ah. Dislike. Extreme dislike. Oh, no. Oh, we look like we're headed towards a reset. Yep. <laughs> As I impale myself on a hermit crab. Well done, me. We'll try that again. Let's see if we can do this on our first try. Hopefully. Very nice. We'll skip the cutscene. We've already seen it. We're speedrunners, after all. Oh, no. Whew. Forgot that he starts off the fight like that. Pretty uncool. I'm not feeling blown away. There it is. Show us your bottom. There it is. Nice. For some reason, the input of this is a little delayed in some of the moves that I do, and I wonder if it's because I'm underwater. But every time you get a hit on him, he pops out a heart when he's larger, I believe, or when you blast something into him. Pretty darn useful. Oh, now he's made. In this attack pattern, unfortunately, you can't hit him. So you just got to kind of be patient. Stay kind of in the middle of the area here because he's going to blow past you. Oof. 
Oh, I almost got him. Sometimes you can get him on the ricochet, which is really convenient. Oh, that should have counted. Come on. That should have counted. Maybe we can use his buddy here to get another free shot. Nope. We'll just miss. That's fine. I'll just explode. No, he just swims behind the coral. He's like, Zoo. Oh, I'm out of here. Okay. So this is going a little better than last time. I don't want to get ahead of myself. If you start doing that, you're going to have a bad time. Alright. So I don't know if there's like a really good way to bounce his buddies at him. Probably is a fantastic way, but I don't know what it is. And if I did, you wouldn't be watching Demon Knights. Alright, I think it's time for him to inflate his ego and expand in size. We're getting there. He's gonna take up the entire screen soon. He thinks he's a hotshot. Ooh, boy. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely one of the best bosses in the game just because of how clever it is. I like that. He's very large. I love his big old fat cheeks. Oh, that's taking damage. All right, let's get back here. Get away from him. It's just tough to avoid. He is just pretty dang huge. So, okay. Would like to escape away from you. And give me a chance to hit you. Come on. Dixie's propeller hair will come to the rescue, of course. All right, and we should be able to get him on here. Nice. He's gonna be dislodging. Oops, too soon. Dislodging his buddies from the ceiling. Unfortunately, they don't permanently stay that way. They will come back. I think he is getting pretty close. I want to say that in his near death animation, that he gets like a purple color or that. And it still doesn't let me do that for bosses. I was I was click clacking. I felt it. <laughs> He's gone. The Mr. Fugu is Fugon. Excellent work, us. Now we can wrap up the episode with some treats. Whee! So that was World 4 in completion. Next time we'll be taking on World 5. Juice jungle. That's how I like my jungle city. But first, before we do that, we got some extras to check out. Yes, we do. First off, figure. Is this like world? Oh, these are the. Oh, we haven't gotten any new ones, so unfortunately, there's none of those to check out. But we do have a selection from World Four. We'll check these out. I, I really enjoy looking at the different types of kind of art and it's like crazy to think about that all of this is like super impressive and it's used as the basis for the eventual art design that does go into the game and none of this like it's obviously useful for the inspiration and for what eventually goes into it these are just kind of mock-ups but some of this even on its own is like incredibly impressive art so it's kind of like a bittersweet thing to look at all this and be like, man, this is awesome. But then, you know, the reality is that it doesn't stick around. It's, you know, it's there. It's present in the game in some form, I'm sure. But so here's some enemies that we've probably seen in World 4 at some point. Amazing. Check out the music later on. Maybe eventually I'll drop the soundtrack without getting sued. Here is World 4 in its diorama all different kinds of enemies that we've been encountering so far. All the different fish and the weird robot creatures. I'm still not entirely sure. Is that? No, he's not playing a 3DS. It looks like it, which is funny. This game originally came out on the Wii U and the Wii U and the 3DS were engaged in more of a partnership than anything else. They came out around the same time. The Switch and the 3DS don't really have a whole lot of overlap. The 3DS is essentially a defunct console now. I mean, you can still play it, obviously, but they're not making anything new for it. But yeah, that's it. Also, those coconuts on the ground kind of look like they got a face like, Oh, I'm a coconut. Look at me. I'm broken in half. That's exactly what coconuts sound like. So 
Next time, we'll be taking on World 5, the Juicy Jungle. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, and I'll see you next time. Bye.